Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Boogeyman. I am Artsy Gamer, here to bring you some smiles, and let's get this show on the road. So last time I messed up with uh, David, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to fix that. And hopefully this will be a better ending. Hey so there, go David. This again. What are you looking up at? Look down below. David! Ah. Okay. I finally got you snared. That detective was a bit too perceptive earlier. Killing you would put me at a big advantage. A critical hit to the detective. Oh, this is getting good. Okay, shoot. Let's go, let's go. Yes? Exactly. This may sting a bit, David, but not for long. Now hurry, Batman. Robin's gonna be a canary. saved him. The fuck? Jeez. Ah! You okay? Yeah, I guess. But I think I got a bump on my head just now. Good. You go back to the room then. This happened I can't afford to see it. Sorry. It's my own stupidity to blame. That's not the problem. If anything happens to you, I'm the one left with a crying surely. Wow. So positive. Isn't there anyone who'd cry for you? I don't know. Maybe not anymore. Huh? Still want to tag along? Yeah. Did you just say the... Okay. Do what you want. wouldn't be. Back up we go. Oh yeah. What's that? Is my health good or something? Uh, my health is good. Oh. I think 
that's because my arm hurts, but I don't know. I'm not going to bleed to death, am I? Rest a little. If you don't take a break, you're going to shut up. This isn't the time. I'm tired. Okay, let me rest. Oh, you're so nice. Or are you gonna drag around an exhausted citizen, detective? <laughs> let me your lighter. You've got one smoke to rest. he know about my mom? He sure has passed. It's really disturbing. It is. David, did you celebrate your birthday with Shirley last month? Or was it with Paul and Marion? Oh, I scheduled a meal with Shirley, then celebrated with Paul and Marion the other day. Huh. Did I ever tell you my friend's names? Sorry about your mother. Regulars are like a landmine. One misstep means trouble. Yeah. But I guess they don't teach you how to dodge landmines with bicycles, huh? What? Oh, and you want to soften your stomach for anchovies and liver. I mean, unless you want younger girls thinking that's cute or whatever. <laughs> what? Hold on a second. What do you know about my mom, too? And my friends in school? I never told you any of that, right? Keep this between us. Working as a detective for 15 years, you get to know stuff. Like what someone's done in the past, just by looking at their faces. Maybe that big headed freak is the same way. Huh. Okay. You, you're kidding, right? You think I'm kidding? Yes, I'm totally kidding, guy. You're a real sucker. Take care, you don't get swindled someday. What's this about? What do you know all about me? You were taken to the police after the incident with your mother. Remember the detective who questioned you? I was pretty dazed at the time, so I don't really remember. But it wasn't you, was it? Eric Simpson, my subordinate. It was only an attempted crime, so he was the only one to handle you. Oh, what if Eric Simpson is the guy who's been and like you know, doing this? He's got a real this? messy desk. And that's case files that are like pile up so high they even topple over onto my desk. I saw some files on you among them. Your history, your family, that kind of info. And your mother's diagnosis. Oh, and the ones who verified your identity were your friends Paul and Mary and Martin. I remember them well, especially because that Paul guy made a huge ruckus at the station. He was the one that ate too many chili dogs too, right? And the anchovies. Oh yeah, I mentioned. But I didn't tell you I hated liver, did I? I hate anchovies myself. And I hate liver. That's all. Why did you make a guess for that one? Because you're stupid enough that I thought I'd fool you. Wow. If you know so much about me, why didn't you say so when we first met? Because I was suspicious of you. Huh? Me? Why? A year Everyone's and a half suspicious. Ago, we hang body in an abandoned house in another state. The state police came to us trying to determine the guy's identity. That's when I read your testimony, and it was real sketchy. Sketchy? Why? Oh, so this is after. I understand you were looking for the yeah. guy who formerly lived in your apartment, but how did you track him down without even knowing his name or what he looked like? You said you followed notes, but when you were asked to show him, you said you lost them. You said you shot a man in the house. But there was no gunpowder on the gun, no dropped cartridges, most importantly, nobody to shoot. And then you just happened to find that former tenant's corpse. You gotta admit that's suspicious. That's but it's true. true. I was led there by the notes he wrote. Once I found the body and called the police, I realized they were gone. And I did shoot someone, but I'm not sure if it was a person. As you testified, but I guess that doesn't matter so much now. I was wary of you because of what you could have done. I didn't want to leave Helena with a madman. If you did anything even a little weird, I was going to turn around and take my wife home. Do you still distrust me? When we first met on the boat, 
I intentionally told you that I was a detective. Somebody with something to hide would be alarmed. No, that's true. But then you just said cool. So it's a bit less worried. You might be crazy, ah! but you haven't shown me the sign of being dangerous. Sorry, that was my phone. Listen, everyone's got bad stuff in their past. For somebody who shouldn't know it to dig it up and use it against you, that agitated and anger most people. Mm. He knows that well. He's showing off what he knows to upset all of you and control your actions. Done it to you, to Richard, to Lance. Lance too. He's an ex-journalist. Took photos with that job too. When he published articles, he signed his photos with LK. Hmm. He investigated the state police during a sexual assault and murder case three years back, but went too far. The victim's family and civil liberties group attacked him for invasion of privacy and he was driven out of journalism. Oh, wow. How do you know about all that, Sue? Doesn't matter. Well, I understand that those are the guy's methods, but how does he know all of our pasts in the first place? The boogeyman lives in your closet, right? So, he's always watching. Watching when you nearly That's killed true. your mother. Watching when you were snuggling with your wife in bed. That's creepy. The don't make sets like that. He's only human. The appearance, the weapon, the info, it's all just to scare us. You're taking this pretty well, though. I it's guess he's used to this. It's not going to scare me. Yep, that's our detective. Nothing scares him, even though his wife might be in danger. Still calm. If I let myself be shaken, we'd all follow suit. I can't protect anyone if I get distracted. That's true. A detective doesn't just go fishing for corpses. I've got my lousy pride and my duty. I can't just watch while someone kills people with a grin on their face. Uh. Even if you're forsaking someone important to you? What are you trying to say? There's a big gap between your ideal and what you really want. It's contradictory. Isn't that painful for you? <laughs> I wanted to be a pilot, but thinking about it now, I think I was just too stubborn to see anything else. That's true. So? You'll understand someday. Thinking of taking a nap here? Let's go. Keith. Those things you said before, were you trying to make me angry? I don't intend on telling anyone your history, nor your family problems. Sorry if you're still pissed. No, it's fine. I guess I am kind of a brat. Isn't everyone? Okay, I save. Oh, shoot, I saved on the wrong thing. Fuck. Oh well. Oh, God. Is this useful for something? I don't even know. Statue of Virgin Mary, what's here? 
Nothing. 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 There can't be anything like limbo. Mom and Dad says that since I haven't been baptized yet, if I die, I will go to limbo. But that can't be limbo. I don't want to go to limbo. I hate this meditation room, too. But I really hate these Bible passages, but it's much, much better than the closet. I really, really hate the closet. That's why every time I, I'm yelled at and go in, but I just do the same things again and go back in the closet, I guess. When I'm in the dark cram closet, I wonder if I stay here forever. I wonder if I'll turn into a monster. Like a monster movie that kills mom and dad and messes up the whole this whole house. But when I leave the closet, I, it's just I'm just me. I couldn't become a monster. I couldn't. So I... I will, so I always apologize to mom and dad. I'm sorry for doing bad things. I love you more than anyone in the world. That is odd. Ooh! Fuck. Hey, stop. Huh? Stop that thing. It's hurting my ear. What mess? Your phone! I hate hearing phones ring. It's your. Calm down. Make it stop! Calm down, please. Where are you hearing a phone ringing? There's no phone ringing. In fact, I think I lost my cell phone earlier. So please, calm down. Then why is he here? Why is he here? I hate it. I hate the sound of these phones. Why? Because it always brings bad news. Alright. Oh. Oh, we already saw this before. Bearing here? Yes, that's right. I'll be there. Aw, he does care. Mr. Barry, sorry to have called you. Oh, no. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. Sure. He's oh wearing gosh. the clothes from this morning. My wife showed his name on them. Todd Barry. Check behind him next. Oh my gosh. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me.
I'll save that here. I hope Keith and David are all right. It's been so long since they went out. Helena? Thank goodness you're safe. Where's Keith? He went looking for you. Oh, but I'm so glad. Now we'll just wait for those two to return and... Wait! I... I have to go. That man's going to come. He'll catch me. Don't go, Helena. Stay here with us. You'll be all right. Yes, Helena. You should be safe with us. Helena! Lance! Whoa, 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 whoa. Lance can run? What are you thinking? You know how dangerous it is to go it alone? Let go! If I don't run, that man will catch me. So, so then why not stay with us? You gotta calm down, lady. No! If, if I'm caught, Keith will... Keith? What about Keith? Hey, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, wait! <sighs> Lance, what are you doing out here? Hey, we saw Helena. R really? Yeah, but I lost her. We gotta catch up. She should be nearby. I'm taking you back to the room. What? You going deaf? I told you, your woman's close by. What's the plan if you're attacked? You can't run with that leg. You... Don't you tell me what I can't do. Lance, stop it. You know, that cocky freak is scary. But in my eyes, you're scarier. I'm grateful that you saved me. But past that, you're shady as all get out. I never know what you're thinking. For all the lengths you go to to save people, you never show any emotion. You never get upset. It's true. Not to mention knowing all about my past and trying to scare me with that. Just like that other guy. Tell me, why do you know about me? I liked your articles about the Bronx incident. They were pretty on point. I was wondering when I could read more, but more never came. Because the author had left journalism. Huh? When I heard your name, I had my suspicions. And it turned out I was right. One leading question, and I'd gotten you. I didn't mean to go fishing through your past. Uh, I just read your articles. And you talk just like your articles read. It really has that unpleasant attitude. <laughs> <sighs> you should have told me that before. What do you have to scare me for? I just wanted to tease you for picking fights with everyone. Want to take it to court? I'll win. <laughs> wow. I really don't get you. I can't even tell if you're serious or are you joker. But I can tell one thing. You're not just an unfeeling Robocop. The whole never shaken thing is just an act, huh? Well, I shouldn't be inviting citizens to panic. Stop saying crap about shoulds and shouldn't! Listen, I know. Deep down, you think we're just annoyances. Don't really care what happens to us, because ultimately we're total strangers. So you're sketchy as hell for trying to hide that. Why you gotta hide that? If we're just in your way, say it. Don't go so far protecting us that you'll kill yourself off. If you want to save your woman right now, then do it. Okay. Go back to the room, Lance. I'll look for Helena, too. Did you forget what I just said? You're an annoyance. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> right you are. You go back with Lance. I'll be fine. Don't let him get hurt anymore. Go. Okay then. I'm on my own again. Save here.
I'm in a very bad mood right now because I keep losing to you. Life really doesn't go the way you want it. Huh. Even when you try to break up the monotonous days, it just doesn't work out. It's okay. Sadly enough, even this fun game is almost over. Catch the boogeyman and you win. Happy end. But that's all right. I'll put up a good fight with you, detective. Then we'll see what ending we're getting. Oh it goes one way or the other. Victory or defeat. Nice and simple, right? Does it have to be like this? Uh, I thought I saw a button. Oh shit. confused. How did I die? are all wonky. Okay, let's try that again. One more time. Oh my. like you did things out of what but still not bad what oh hey now oh my god david where's keith he came here together earlier but then we split up he must be that way Let's go look for him. Keith! Well, shit. That was a bad ending. Fuck. Keith! Please, Keith, get up! Don't move him, Helena. Uh, uh, first we need to stop the bleeding. Helena. Are you there? I am. It's okay, Keith. We'll stop the bleeding.
three. Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm so confused. I had an awful dream. What was it like? I don't want to remember it. I'm so confused. Helena, you need to wake up soon. you can get some sleep. Do you think you can eat anything? I'm done cleaning the storeroom, so I thought I'd make you something. I'm not hungry. You need to eat, Helena. It's not healthy. I'll make you something simple. Thanks for your help, Charlie, but it's fine. You don't have to do anything. I'm just glad you came. I got another bad ending. If you can get to sleep, uh. then maybe you should sleep. But isn't it chilly by the window? Come to the bedroom. I want to be here right now. It's my favorite place. I always like to see my son coming home from kindergarten, or Keith coming home from work. This must be a great place then. Helena, you remind me of a friend of mine. She got along really well with her husband. So, when her husband left, she was very depressed. She told me that her son's support helped her get her back on her feet. She was a really good person. <laughs> when I was introduced to her, she told me she was glad to have a daughter-in-law. But I didn't know much about becoming anyone's family. I thought, if my parents threw me away, how could I ever be a part of a stranger's family? And she noticed my worry. So she told me this. While I had an unhappy marriage, through it, I met my beloved son. But not everyone can have such happy meetings. So, if you're unsure, I won't mind if you run away. Ultimately, I let anxiety get the best of me and I ran. And by the time I resolved to come back, she was already gone. I still regret my cowardice, but I know it's too late. David seemed to think that you and Keith didn't get along, but I never thought that for a second you were always so concerned for Keith. And Keith always sounded kind when he spoke to you. I knew you must have really valued each other. Oh my gosh, I'm so depressed now. I thought I'd like to be like that myself, but it's not so easy. I still don't know how to go about it. I'm sure you just need lots of wonderful memories. It's okay, Shirley. You two will be just fine. Thanks. Why do the people so close to you always have to go so soon? Sorry, uh, I was cleaning the living room and I and I broke something. Uh, uh, hold on, what did you break? Uh, a glass cat? Y you broke a Swarovski ornament! What are you doing? That's why I said I should clean the storeroom. You know I'm clumsy. There's even more stuff in there! That would be a disaster! S say what? <laughs> <laughs> you two are just too adorable. There's nothing to worry about, Shirley. You're a wonderful pair. I know you'll get on fine. I don't want any more bad dreams. I'm exhausted. I 
just want to have happy dreams. Oh, no. Oh, I, know. I knew it. Fuck. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. No! No, please! Elena. Oh, I knew it. Oh my god, I'm getting all the bad endings. <laughs> so bad. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for today, guys. I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm sure there's a whole bunch of things I did wrong with for the endings. So if you guys have any comments on how I could get a better ending, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I might have to replay the whole game again, but uh, yeah... So that's the boogie man. So I hope you guys like this playthrough and um I will see you guys in another uh playthrough I guess. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys like what you saw please leave a like, comment and or subscribe. Thank you for your support. Bye now. <laughs>